Audio. Hi everyone, my name is Amstan. I'm an elite uh, After Effects templates author on Video Hive. And uh, in this new kind of uh, video tutorial, I'll explain a little bit about how I've uh, managed to design uh, some of my templates and give away some tips and tricks. So let's start with this one. It's the last template that I've uploaded. Uh, so I guess it, uh, this is an advanced uh, uh, tutorial. I will not go uh, deep into how to manage or to organize your uh, template. So let's dig in. So I have here two kind of uh, animation possible. The first one is if you want to just put a logo that will uh, reveal itself through the whole animation or uh, some titles that will come one after the others. So let's keep for now with the logo so just uh, to explain what is there. So what we have here, we have a kind of a laser show effect with a source and uh, a laser rays and of course our logo that it's revealed. So uh, basically we have a, a naked logo that is revealed with uh, some layers and this layers, uh, this layer um, command and control uh, the whole animation. So let's hide everything here. We have this uh, comp here where there are all the rays. So let's open it. And what we have here, we have the revealer. And if we uh, step inside and see what we got, we got this simple animation, but that is synchronized with the music. And this is what reveal our logo. And it has many steps. So first step, and when it, everything disappear, we can load another image if you want. That's why here I give the option to have like up to five uh, titles. See, and uh, the transition will be every time the screen goes uh, almost black. Like here and here and so on. So you see that these pretty simple animations will uh, give life to a complex uh, animation after that. So this laser revealer, let's go back to laser edit, and it's here it's hidden. I have here some, uh, just uh, some uh, color and glow effects, adjustment layers. And here we have two, uh, the, 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 the laser is composed from two uh, layers. So the first one, two comp, the first one is this one, and uh, it's uh, it's controls smoke screen, which is this one that is animated, and also in 3D it follows. It's an object, 3D object that follows the movement of the camera. So I have here one comp. If you want to speak about the camera, we have here one comp where it is. Where it is? Yeah, this one that's called Laser Master. And here I have a camera, and each other comp will follow this camera movement. So this way I can have many layers, many comp that will uh, that I can play with after here, and they have all the same uh, animation inside. So you see here that they are not 3D layers; they are just uh, comps, and the 3D is uh, inside so that I can play with some uh, blended modes like add or screen or something like that. So, so I said that uh, I, I could use this directly, laser, so smooth and uh, like uh, um, perfect, but it's better and more realistic with uh, uh, smoke effect, you see? So uh, I said that smoke effect is animated and it's just like a, a fractal noise and um, so with some basic settings like uh, the evolution, animate the evolution and uh, animate of course uh, the offset turbulence. So that's the uh, easiest, easiest thing to do. So let's get to uh, something else. 
So I said that we have two main layer here, this smoke uh, screen. So if I hide it, let's go here, but a uh, place when I can see a little bit. Yeah, why not? So if I had this one, we'll only, ha only have rays with uh, uh, less punch. And this layer here have less rays and the logo also, so that I can add it afterward uh, over this one. And also this one have the uh, light source, so that we can that we don't have here. Okay, let's dig and see how we made the rays but in the smoke screen, master layer. So here, these are some layers about the camera movement. We have this important layer here that's called horizon. Uh, this is a point in 3D space that is way back and that will control uh, the all the uh, uh, 2D effects because uh, uh, it's a 3D layer and it will move if I solo it and uh, uh, make it visible like down here we see that uh, I have a camera animation so this uh, 3D will move inside the com space and I need this coordinate to put them in some 2D effects here so let's uh, hide it again and what you have here we have, we have laser front laser back we have our logo here and of course the logo is revealed by the same laser revealed layer that we saw earlier and I have two copies, one with the glow, one with not. So it's up to you to play with, uh, to try to have the nice uh, effect. So if you see what this uh, copy is for, just see here, it will give the little blur that will give it more realism. And I achieved that by just uh, putting it uh, behind this CC Rider Fast Blur uh, adjustment layer. If I hide it, see that I've done. I've put this uh, faster blur to get rid of some artifact that may appear, and uh, of course it's a 2D uh, effect. But it follows the center follows the 3D null, so that we, which give us the um, the possibility to have a realistic uh, direction of the blur. So this said, we have a first blur here, we have a second one here, and we have our laser. So th we have the laser front, this is this part, and it uses uh, radial blur because it's less, um, it's uh, when I can use the radial blur instead of another effect, like this one, the light burst. I use the radial blur because it's better for rendering. So I have a lighter blur here, and uh, same thing. I use an expression, simple expression of uh, space conversion. And if you hit two time e, you'll see the expression side, and you see that this it said this comp layer horizon, or this layer, to comp. So I want to convert the 3D position of this horizon layer to a 2D position on my comp and that's what gave me this value and if I click on the radar blur I see that effect is here following our horizon uh, layer see it's exactly in the same spot so this said and of course I added some a curve on the alpha channel because uh, otherwise it will be uh, way more way less uh, visible after that i give it some blur and again a fast blur to get rid of any possible artifact that may appear so this is for the laser front let's hide it we have now the laser back that goes from the source to revealing our logo so here i have laser back one this one and i have laser back two and I have the light source. So I have three iteration 
of uh, of uh, my logo with uh, same almost same effect this burst effect so i uh, use this burst effect with a negative value and uh, i just a little tip you have to if you want to play with the intensity if you want the intensity to have an effect you have to put a solid composite uh, uh, behind it so because uh, if the layer have alpha channel the this uh, intensity value will change anything will not work so but if you put just a solid composite a black solid composite uh, everything works fine so this is the first uh, uh, layer you have the second one here but the difference between this one and this one is that this one is about here the z space the 3d you have the 3d layer inside and uh, i collapsed the result so that uh, even if here it's a 2d but it will take the 2D, 3d from uh, the inside so and the second one the our if you see the position it's uh, it's in this space it's a far a further far and if we take another third one and double click and press p we see that it's about 10,000 so it's far again and we can sorry let's go back here so we can see what's happening here if we just disable uh, all the fx you see we have three layers in the z space one that will give the the 3d um, rays from here to here second to give it more corpse and the third to go further on until reaching the center and that's it uh, for this part and if you go now to uh, here to the laser overlay and see how I'll manage to uh, to regenerate the source because if he's seen already seen a laser show we know that there is a light uh, laser light and that's it like flickering and stuff and I wanted the light to be dependent of the the revealing layer so what I've done I've done here a layer that I called light source and if you go inside you see this sort of white magma going on and what is this basically it's just our uh, logo that have tons of uh, effect over it uh, let's see see and to make it like blurry and stuff because I don't need uh, the the logo I just need uh, I just need the information that uh, it's uh, visible or not here you see uh, when it's disappeared because of the laser layer I want uh, to sample a part of this screen and if it's white so it will show something and it's if it's black it will uh, make uh, something uh, visible so that's why I have this laser source light source and I have yeah it's there sorry so I have this this stars basically that change appears and disappear and uh, grow up and shrink down dependent of my uh, revealer so basically I used a sample image expression here that said if you had two times E uh, I used this sample image for example for the inner radius and the outer radius also of this star and basically what it said for every sample image we need uh, we need a layer so T this is the layer I need the light source this layer okay that have a null inside I can make it visible for you uh, the null this null and the position of this null I use it to say so this image so light source uh, this position so the position of the this null layer uh, where was I where was I sorry there was a lay yeah so this position this layer T sample image from P this position which is 
comp layer source sample position sample position is this layer that same sample position and after that uh, what how many pixel i want to sample uh, so the value is mm and it's like an x and y uh, coordinates so mm came from m it's an effect here that i've done here it's just a slider that allow me to uh, quickly change this value this m value so basically i'm selling him uh, go to this comp large source and sample uh, the image at this position the position of the this null layer that name it sample position and sample around uh, 40 pixel uh, on y and x and this information give it here so i have this information s and now i want to say to my radius to uh, uh, to have a linear relation between it and this value so I said to it so take this a value that it's uh, a part of this sample image and uh, if f from 0 to 0 uh, to from 0 to 0 0.2 go from 0 to 40 so and if you ask asking yourself but what's this s2 it's just that uh, the sample image will give me three values rgb four values rgb and alpha so i could take the first value is it's called zero here or the se second one or the third two so i'll just take, pick up the third it's the re rgb the blue value but it's not important i could use zero or uh, one so just to explain you so now the result is that this uh, star will grow and change uh, dependently of the my uh, this layer light intensity basically Whew, that was hard okay so uh, that's for the source and I guess it's uh, it's everything so this is all the tricks that I used so that's it thank you for watching I hope you like it and uh, please if you have any question ask me in the comments below i'll do my best to uh, respond and uh, this is only the first one i planning to do many others and explain uh, reveal some of my tricks and tips so thank you again for watching uh, if it's not done already please subscribe and uh, see you next time goodbye